Hello, my name is Russell Boudry, Router Product Manager here at Multicam. Today we're going to be doing some thread milling. Now, thread milling is an application that allows you to create threads of any size uh, from 832 on up. Now, you see this a lot in signage. Maybe you're doing uh, standoffs in the back of acrylic or some aluminum. So this is an application that you're not limited to just a drill and tap spindle. You can do it on an automatic tool changing spindle or even a collet spindle. This could really expand your capabilities at your shop. The process of thread milling starts with what size hole you need to thread. So in this case, I wanted to do a quarter 20. Uh, the tool I picked from this vendor, the, the website they had provided me all of the exacting details about the diameter of the thread mill itself, the depth of, that I could maximum go with this threading, um, and other important data. It also had a portion on there where it showed me uh, a simple chart that if I started with a 200 thousandths diameter hole or a number seven drill, I could have 75% engagement. Um, so uh, this is all extremely helpful as we move into the process of putting this data into a CAD CAM. At Multicam, we often offer uh, in-route or alpha cam as a CAD CAM solution. And uh, both of these programs can do it, but they do approach it differently. Um, in-route approaches it from a uh, parametric macro and you come in and you put in all of this information about where you want it in X and Y, uh, the diameter of the thread, um, the pitch, which is simply uh, one divided by 20, and um, the depth of the, the threads that you wanna go, and all this information. And you, when you hit apply, it actually creates a vector of either a, a hole that can be uh, that you can utilize for um, a bolt head or an internal hole um, and so then you actually come in here and you can actually do a um, a follow path tool path with that tool I found that alpha cam was probably a little bit more user friendly and does put out better code in route output uh, a series of g01s where alpha cam actually output an actual spiral go2 uh, interpolation of this code i also found that the the thread milling uh, process was easier because i was able to bring that exacting tool in with the dxf sign the tool answer these questions and speeds and feeds and before you know it you're done so i found this to be a lot more user friendly than dealing with the vector but once again both can do it so our first tool is going to come in and it's going to create the um the, the hole for it to be threaded so this is going to be a 200 thousandths hole for a quarter 20 um, this will end up allowing us to have about a 70% thread engagement, which is pretty significant. We're now going to go back and pick up a thread mill. And there's different styles of thread mills. This particular one has got a flare in. Uh, there's other types where it actually looks like a, um, a tap um, end mill combo. Uh, there's different advantages. Both require this helical move motion. You can see how it's literally going in and out. And when it's done, it's going to come back into the center and lift out. All right. So that is our hole. I'm just going to blow away any debris here. All right, one half inch in, quarter 20, tapped hole. 